everybody, this is Mrs. Carrasco from the BMAT Library. Um, I have a book that I've been saving <clears throat> to read to you guys, and so I brought it home. This is called Bernard's Book, and this is by Deborah Underwood. She writes um, Teacher Cat and some of those other really great ones. Um, I want to say that she does the um, Mermaid, something Mermaid. We have several in the library, and I'm sure everybody else does as well. All right, it's called Bernard's Book. Here's the title page, and it's illustrated by um, Missa Sabari. All right, one day Bernard received an important letter. Dear Bernard, you have been specially selected to be in a book. Please come to Storybook Gate tomorrow at 10 a.m. Regally yours, the Queen of Storybook Land. At last, Bernard cried, I've always wanted to be in a book. He imagined children reading his book at bedtime and at school and upside down on the playground. He raced to tell his friend Gertie, Gertie, I'm gonna be in a book. Wonderful, Gertie said. What kind of book? Oh, I don't know, Bernard said. Maybe I will be a knight. or an astronaut, or super bear, Bernard said. Whichever it is, I know you'll do a great job, said Gertie. Bernard wanted to do a great job, so he decided to study some other bear books. He read a book about a bear who floated away in an umbrella. Oh dear, what if I need to float in my book, said Bernard. I'm afraid of floating. He filled up his bathtub to practice. What are you doing, Gertie called. Not floating, said Bernard. Maybe you won't need to float in your book, said Gertie. Bernard read a book about a bear who ate marmalade and made messes. I do like marmalade, Bernard said, but I'm a tidy bear. Messes make me nervous. Give it, just give it a try, said Gertie. Bernard threw a tiny scrap of paper on the floor. He quickly picked it up. I'll help, Gertie said. She tossed some peanut shells on the floor. Bernard ran for the vacuum cleaner. Mm, maybe you won't need to make messes in your book, said Gertie. Bernard read a book about a bear whose porridge was stolen. Oh, how dreadful, Bernard, Bernard cried. I am very afraid of someone eating my porridge. He put a bowl of porridge in front of Gertie. Eat it, he said. I need to practice. Are you sure? Gertie asked. You love porridge. Bernard nodded. Gertie took one bite, then another. She was about to take a third bite when, stop, Bernard cried. I will have just one spoonful. Mm, maybe no one will steal porridge in your book, said Gertie. That night, Bernard dreamed of a floating, messy, porridge-eating monster. I have changed my mind, he said the next morning. I do not want to be in a book. Bernard, said Gertie, you tried to float. You tried to make a mess. You tried to let me eat your porridge. Do you know what that makes you? What, asked Bernard. Brave, said Gertie. It does, said Bernard. Yes, said Gertie. Bernard took a deep breath. Gertie, can brave bears bring friends along? Absolutely, said Gertie. So Gertie helped Bernard relax while they walked to the storybook gate. At the gate, Bernard waved goodbye to Gertie. Welcome, Bernard, said the queen. Right this way. Thank you, Bernard said. Can you please tell me what my book is about? Oh, why don't you know, asked the queen. It's about you. It's about me? Yes, said the queen. It's about Bernard, the brave bear, getting ready to be in his book. All you need to do is be yourself. 
Oh, thank goodness, said Bernard, and he turned to tell Gertie, but remembered she wasn't there. Then he had an idea. My friend Gertie helped me get ready. Can she be in my book too, he asked. Of course, said the queen. Hooray, said Bernard. He ran back to get her. And together, Bernard and Gertie danced into Brave Bernard's book. The end. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I love and miss you all.